I thought I would just jump on in and do one of those power hour videos where I set the timer for one hour. The older ones are working on their independent schoolwork, which is like, you know, the uh, grammar and the handwriting and their math and, and some of their reading. And while they're doing that, the young ones are playing outside and I'm just going to use this hour to get whatever I can done. And then I told them that we would walk over to the park and uh, just have a kind of a lighter day. So I thought I would take you along with me since I know that these are videos that you guys really enjoy. I am also inspired and um, pumped by them as well. So um, here we go. Some of the things that I'm going to tackle will be the bathroom and the laundry. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you. Set your timer for an hour. Um, there is a playlist that went up today with Rachel from Did It Did Joys, and I will leave that playlist link down below so you've got, you know, a plethora of power hour videos to spur you on during your, um, help me, that was cleaning time. All right, so today's actually my daughter's day to do the kitchen. Uh, we started assigning days uh, to the to the children to, and basically they have all of the chores of that day. They need to unload the dishwasher, rinse, and load. I still have the meals and I do my cleanup as I'm, you know, preparing those meals, but the bulk of it is assigned to each child. The little ones, of course, have more supervision than the older ones. So I will not be doing the kitchen today, but you can check out another video I did with my a uh, deep clean kitchen spring cleaning type of thing and I will leave that linked up for you. All right, but in the meantime, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start in here. This is my bedroom. This is kind of our catch-all. It's kind of unfortunate. I always try to make my bed every day. I don't always make I don't always get to it, but I do try. And in the process of just getting everything ready, this starts happening. So there's only so much I can do, but I really do want to try to clean this out over here. I think the lighting is doing it. Cleaning all these boxes and and catch all stuff away from here. So I can open that door and just get in some fresh air. Carpet just seems to hold so much um, must and other types of stuff. I've been trying to teach the children not to lay their clothes on the floor, but I wonder where they got that from. Hem hem. And you know what? Let's let's just get started. Okay? Let's just get started. a bunch of stuff on the tape on the bed I know it kind of goes against the whole touch once rule but it really does help me to see a clean floor and then work from here off I don't know why I just learned this about me that I really do better doing it or tackling stuff this way all right let's tackle this one
I don't know what time or when the card got full. I apologize for that. But here is what it ended up looking like. Isn't it so much better? I It's been an hour. I can't believe this took me an hour to do. But so let's just start. This is my husband's. We, we use an old shirt to cover up the printer so that the dust doesn't get all over it. And anyway, these are my husband's books that he's wanting to keep. So, and then these are my husband's files that he wants to keep. Those two are, box, are book boxes that he's going through. And I believe this one is an empty box to put anything he wants to keep from those in here. This stack is a bunch of textbooks that I need to get up and selling. Um, I really hope those are empty. I think they are. I hope they are. This actually is something I need to take care of. I have been going through our Jean Fritz books and reading and deciding which ones to keep. I love Jean Fritz. Um, I think she's really great. However, I'm noticing my kids aren't particularly fond of her. But just because they aren't fond of her doesn't mean that I don't want them to read some of the great content. Anyway, that's a whole nother video. Um, so what's left on the bed? These clothes are stuff that Euphemia is outgrown and I need to sell them. There's like a LuLaRoe dress and um, her handmade prairie dress that she won't be able to wear next year. These are homeschool stuff that we have received. I have to um, mark them with our, in, if, with our charter um, sticker so that I know that they need to go back to the charter when we're done finished with them. And um, so here's what this looks like. It is so much better. I love this. This is my side of the bed. This is my husband's side. <laughs> I am so evil. Okay, so let's explain these boxes here. This is my TBR box. This is the stuff that I need to read and pass on because I just don't have room on the shelves and these are ones that I would like to know the content of them, but that doesn't mean that I actually want to keep them forever and always. This is what we call a shipping box in a sense that I have clients that um, when I'm selling the books that I'm done with them and they're like, hey, just throw it in my box. I literally have boxes for clients and when they're filled, they get shipped. So that's what that is. That is a client's box or a shipping box. So, and then that's, I do not mess with the husband's desk. However, that is my coffee. All right, well, it's been an hour. Um, let me, I forgot about this. This is mine. I want this on a shelf in there. Um, just because I've noticed that my little one has been using it as a stool and it should not be used as a stool. I love this box so much and it has a lot of my like artwork and personal things that I just really want to keep safe. So that needs to go on the shelf in there and then that box is going to go to the recycling bin. I was actually using it as a camera prop. So thank you for doing this along with me. I am so glad to have this done. I actually feel like I should put a couple candles in here and then just tell my husband this is his father's day gift. Um, I know that will really make him happy. So anyway, thank you for powering with me. How does your bedroom look like? This is supposed to be our sanctuary, right? And I just can't believe how quickly it becomes a dump pile. So I'm really glad to have gotten this done. I don't think I would have done it if I wasn't all prepped to do this power hour with the other amazing YouTube ladies. So thank you, thank you for watching and um, have a fantastic day. Keep calm and clean on folks, bye.